So what exactly have scientists discovered here? Liquid water beneath the southern polar ice cap of Mars. So this is huge, okay? Um, we have, there are two ice caps, two polar ice caps, just like here on Earth, on Mars, but most of it is carbon dioxide, so think of it as dry ice. Um, but there is water ice there as well. So they've long wondered whether or not liquid water could actually exist there through a process called um, basal melting. So the pressure of the ice on, uh, on well, just the pressure of the ice is, yeah causing the, uh, fr the freezing, the melting temperature of water to decrease. So you can actually get some melting down there and also the minerals. So they were wondering if this could exist and now it looks like it does. Yeah, how certain are they about this? Um, there is, within the community, there is cautious optimism, but this is looking good. They used, they collected data from Mars Express, it's a satellite orbiting Mars, um, and these are a group of Italian scientists, and they um, collected data for, from 2012 to 2015. But then they also, they get this bright signal, okay, on, uh, on the, from the radar, okay, that bounces off, and I think we had a, a, an image um, of the radar, and there's a line that is the surface, as you can see there. You can see the top line is the surface, ref reflectivity, and that lower line is this reflectivity that they didn't know what it was. So they tried to rule everything out, and as they said, is water, liquid water, is the best explanation. But this is only one finding um, using one method, but it's really hard to go and find that water. Yeah, yeah, and with science, you know, things can be debatable until they're proven, right? Exactly. So this exactly. actually isn't the first time we've heard about liquid water on Mars? So, um, so we know there's water on Mars frozen, okay? It's beneath the surface. It's actually even in the dirt, recently they found out. And more recently, they found something called re recurring slope lineae. And they are lines of, um, it, in a crater, and it looks like flowing water. So scientists in 2015 said, hey, this is flowing water. But now again, it's debatable. They're saying it could be sand. Hmm. Okay, so why is this finding from the Italians so significant? Because we follow the water. Where there's water, there's life, at least the way we know it. And here on Earth, we have hundreds of subglacial lakes, so lakes underneath ice. And the largest one is Lake Vostok in Antarctica, where they found organisms. Hmm. So. We have these extremophiles, these, these organisms that can survive in conditions that we never thought were possible. So could there be life on Mars? Maybe. Oh, that's fascinating. Thanks so much, Nicole. You're welcome. Nicole Mortolero joining us here, C Senior Science and Technology Writer at CBC News.